Hey everyone, the new 1.14 update and event is now live, and in this video I'm going to show off to you all the new weapons and weapon variants. So this is the baseball bat, we now have the inspect option which is amazing, and it's a small slot melee weapon. It does 90 damage with a light swing to the body. With a heavy swing, that's 150, which is a one shot, so that's really awesome. It also is very efficient with stamina. I mean, these are light swings, but look at that stamina. That is super efficient. Definitely a weapon you can pair with a lot of different things in this game, so that is really cool. Oh, and here is the legendary skin that it comes with. Alright, here we go. Nice, nice. Here is the Springfield Bayonet. It's just like the regular Springfield, except now we have a bayonet melee attachment. <laughs> And you may have noticed on the bottom right there that high velocity has been added as a new custom ammo type for the Springfield. And it is super fast. It gets 690 meters a second, so it's a really cool ammo addition right there. This is cool. This is also the this is also the legendary skin that it comes with. So pretty sweet. Here is the Berthier Marksman with Marksman Scopesmith. So pretty quick, pretty quick. You know, a lot of us who have tried the Labelle Marksman are kind of familiar with this scope. Berthier reloads quite quickly. Boom, stripper clip, so... Yeah, a really good rifle, cool variant. We'll see how many people use it during the event. This is the Penny Shot Derringer, the new Derringer that came with this update, and here is what it's like. A pretty lethal close range option. I could see this being very useful with longer range loadouts, and maybe you don't have anything close range, apart from your knife perhaps. This can definitely counter anyone rushing you with a shotgun for example, and yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Only has two shots, and you do have to get to a supply box to refill it. Special ammo, by the way. This will be super good, um, especially against AI bosses as well. And yeah, this is a really cool addition to the game. Here we have the Veterly Cyclone. This will be my first time shooting this. Holy moly. That is quick. Let me know in the comments if you would uh, maybe take this over the drilling or would the drilling be more useful to you? And that's not even full speed. Let's see what full speed looks like. Perhaps if you're in a, you know, a close range situation here. Whoa. That is pretty crazy. You do have to reload a fourth time to get that bullet there in the chamber. This will be a very versatile weapon because you also have, you know, this crosshair which is is quite quite accurate, especially when crouching. That is very accurate. So if you have someone coming up close to you, you know, you know, that can easily take care of them. Very versatile weapon, very fast, fun. Yeah, looking forward to playing with this weapon during the event. Here is the uppercut precision. The very highly anticipated weapon that everyone has seen in the trailer. The iron sight does look a little different. Kind of looks like the conversion pistol's iron sight, actually. Yeah, this thing is super stable. There is really not much sway at all. This thing is, uh, this thing is pretty nasty. This thing is pretty nasty. I think we'll be seeing this a lot. Let's check out the reload here. I think it is the same as the regular uppercut speed. 
Yeah, this is something you can pair with a shotgun, perhaps, or if you want to keep the range and have more ammo. This can really be paired with almost every weapon in the game. Super precise. Really not much sway at all. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more players with Quartermaster. Yeah, this thing is, uh... This thing is crazy. This is the Bornheim Silencer, and this is the legendary skin that you can unlock during the events. Super nice looking. Very clean. And this weapon is really cool. Kind of makes you feel like a hitman. Definitely not the strongest pistol, but it's fast, it's silent, and you can pair this with a lot of different loadouts. I'm, I'm excited to use this. Nice. Oh yeah, you could also dual wield these two new Bornheims. Uh, if you want to. Oh, the, the dual wield inspect, that is nice. Okay, here we have the Deadeye Precision. Does come with an inspect option, which is sweet. Little Deadeye scope there on the side. And this is without Dead Eye Scope Smith. Still very fast. You're not really out of the scope view for too long. Reload speed is the same as usual with any uppercut. Uh, I, I would like to see what this is like with Dead Eye Scope Smith, so let me equip that and we'll see what that's like. This is it without. It's really not that bad without. It's a very quick in and out type cycle. Okay, here is the uppercut dead eye precision with dead eye scope smith. Yeah, that is uh that's gonna be a nasty one. That is a pretty deadly gun right there. This would honestly pair really well with something close range because you definitely have range covered with this gun. And the dead eye, dead eye scope is not too zoomed in, so really even in closer ranges, it won't feel too bad. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a cool addition to the game. Looking forward to testing this out. It is fast too. Oh my. So this is the new fire beetle. Not a weapon, but I figured it's new, so I'm gonna show it off. And uh, there is no inspect available. If anyone from Crytek is watching, my idea would be that the inspect would be to maybe pet the beetle. You know, might be kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, this is what it's like. Just like any ordinary beetle, except fire. Kind of like a mobile firebomb, so yeah. We'll see how that plays out during the event. And those are all the new weapons and weapon variants that'll be a part of the events. Let me know in the comments which weapon is your favorite, and also let me know if there's any cool loadouts you can think of, including these new weapons. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a like, it does help me out a lot. And stay tuned for more event footage using all the new weapons and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. <laughs>